So we're just going to have to go Done. side to side. So you're doing some more ab work, guys. Um, share screen. Yeah, you're going to go that way. Screen. Abs, whereas today you did these abs. Do you need to see what that is while I'm talking here? That's what these things are on the side for. Do you remember Yeah, Dumbo. Yeah, share screen. Listen there and watch here. You know, no, no, you don't have to be in there. All right, share screen. Do you know? Huh? Do you know how to share screen? That's yeah. That's for some reason. Oh, yeah. But then it hasn't came yeah. up. Why yeah. hasn't it came up? Normally it comes oh, up. Do you have to open open it up in the already done? What do you mean? So, open. Oh, share screen, that's all. Yeah, but they'll just see everything. Yeah, they're going to see it. I'm going to do this. And then... Slideshow. Slideshow. Yeah. And then there from the beginning. Right, no, you should have seen that. Okay. Now, remember, you got to do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, yeah. All right. So today's one that we're doing is going to be on family nutrition, how you guys can make things easier for yourself and your kids. Um, so opening up the question, what is your main struggles to get your family to eat healthy? <laughs> just tell them, just... <laughs> So yeah, this is yeah more for like you know your families and all that kind of stuff because a lot of these guys that have joined do have families, so this is the reason why we chose one of these ones. Um, next one. Next one. Yeah. Okay. Um. Infuse, at Infuse, we believe that something as fundamental as a nutrition shouldn't be complicated. Next one. Okay, so um, why is it important? Food Products is a multi billion company and the marketing makes it difficult to know what is actually a good choice and a bad choice. Um, let's talk about breakfast foods. These are the top sources of sneaky sugars. Popular cereal brands advertise whole grains, yet the second ingredient is sugar. So this is the reason why we're trying to teach these guys, be careful with what you're buying your kids, because yes, it looks healthy, but at the end of the day, is it really, it's full of sugar. Same sort of thing as going down your healthy aisle. People think it's healthy, but then it's got like so much hidden sugars in it and it's more just being mindful of all that kind of stuff. Next one. Uh, something that goes for for uh, Pop-Tarts, pop whole grains uh, advertised are being loaded with sugar. Pop-Tarts, one packet of two pastries contains 30 grams of sugar, which is 29 grams of added sugar. So, you know, that's in just one. And when, as a kid, you shouldn't be having too much sugar as well. Next one. Uh, yogurts. Saying that it's a good source of protein when there's only two grams of protein in that whole thing. Um, and also having 10 grams of carbohydrates, which is made up of eight grams of sugar. Um, this is why it is important to read the nutrition labels at the back and not, you know, just having a look at the front. Next one. So, okay, tip one. Plan out your healthy balanced meals and snacks. Next one. Okay. Um, when planning uh, our healthy meals, balance uh, meals and snacks, think about three things. Uh, one, indicating a variety of food. Two, you're balancing nutrition macros. Three, sweets, treats in moderation. Variety, different colors, meaning different vitamins and minerals. Try to eat the rainbow and have different colored fruits and vegetables throughout the day. Balance, um, when you want to incorporate all food groups into every meal and snacks, protein, carbohydrates, and healthy fats. Balancing your plate will help you stay full for longer and also satisfy throughout the day. Moderation, when you eat healthy, you will start to feel uh, better and have more energy. Stick to with, to with the plan and if you want 
one treat a week, enjoy them, then move on. Don't sit there and dwell going, oh shit, I had a bad day yesterday, I ate crap, dwell on it. Go back to eating crap, just have it, move on from what you had. Um, when it comes to healthy eating, it is definitely a family affair. The foods and beverages that you consume can affect your current and, and future health. Did you know that one in, in every three children are consuming, are considered overweight or obese? Research has shown that, oh, shivers. I forgot about that. Sorry, guys. Um, um, research has shown that an obese two-year-old has a 75% chance of being overweight at the age of 35 and being obese at 19. As an 68% chance of being obese at the age of 35, what does that mean? It means that starting healthier choices at a young age is more important than what you guys realise. Um, understanding nutrition, choosing whole foods and estimating healthy habit uh, establishing healthy habits and creating a good food foundation for health. Practice what you preach. Adults and caregivers serve as a role model for your kids. If you are telling a child to eat their, their veggies, but to not eating them yourself or eating fast food and telling your child that it is unhealthy, you are just going to, to cause confusion and and Oops. and resentment when you lead by example it makes it easier for you to follow um, especially for your little ones and this is pretty much what I was trying to explain the other day in one of my posts um, you know I now go out with a carrot a lot of times my son's always like can I have a carrot so making sure that you're doing it and not telling them that they have to eat healthy but you're not eating healthy as well so making sure that we're all doing it together. It makes it a lot easier. And even just telling them carbs, fat, protein, what it does to you, how much calories, and you know, when you're burning something and all this kind of stuff, explain to them, it makes things so much easier for them to pick a healthy choice and an unhealthy choice. Yes, they're gonna have the day that they're gonna wanna eat unhealthy, but then so do we, you know, we're all human, but it's making sure that majority of their food choices are gonna be healthy. One. Uh -huh. Get the kids, kids involved. Um, there are several ways that you can get your kids involved in, in you know, in making your food. Um, like you know, going grocery shopping with them, and you know, explaining it all to them. Um, <laughs> well, yeah. Um, but then also, like you know. Going back and, you know, teaching them when you're making your, your lunches, you know, what you're giving them and explaining it all, their lunches, getting them to help you in the kitchen in making dinner. Um, a lot of the times they will then want to eat what they've made. Um, encouraging your kids to help out whenever you can. Um, we always get our kids involved on meal prep day. So for us, today is meal prep day. Um, we get them to help make our meals for the week and then it comes to the week and that they want to eat it because they know that they've made it themselves um you know even if it's as simple as yeah sometimes even Caleb's got one of those little it's like a crocodile knife so he can't cut himself but he cuts those little chunk things and I take it off him and I cut it a little bit smaller so the kids aren't having chunk things yes it's it's annoying because I got to do it double but he's like picking at the fruit and vegetables why he's cutting it and he, I know that he's eating healthy. This one's a big one. All right. Kids in the, in the kitchen, encourage your kids to help out in the kitchen. When they are exposed to food prepping and cooking, it's, it sparks curiosity and creates a relationship with nutrition. Ways to include kids in the food prep and cooking. Let them measure out ingredients. Helps improve math skills using measuring cups and scales and ask them how much they would measure if they had to double the recipe or cut the recipe in half. Help with, with food preparation, wash, peel, tear, chop. 
um, assist with cooking, Assem assemble, stir, season, create, taste. Other outside the kitchen, suggest meal ideas, grocery shopping, grow, grow a garden, raise chickens. Uh, we've just recently decided to grow some tomatoes and capskins. Yesterday, um, a tomato was ready and done and he loved it. He ate it and thought it was the best thing ever. But yet, if I was to give him a tomato from the shops, he won't eat it. Next one. Making healthy snacks. Making your own snacks helps to limit processed foods. <laughs> Have the kids help uh, help choose and healthy snacks. Some of our favorite kids appropriate snacks, energy balls, ants on a log, turkey and hummus roll ups. Have fun with healthy foods, making shapes out of breads, meats, cheese, fruits, or vegetables. Create Create lunch themes, rainbows and animals, fa favorite shows. Make a Friday a try day. Every Friday, encourage your kids to try something new, a new food or, or presentation method. Make uh, make water the drinker choice. School age age kids need to drink between six to eight cups of water a day, even more when they are in hot weather or during activities. Get the kids to have a reusable water bottle, establish and encourage hydration goals. Make it a challenge. Flavoured water with, with fruit and vegetables, try a bottle infuser. So if you know that your kids aren't gonna be drinking water, try and add things like some people add um, cucumber and mint, there's lemon, there's oranges, there's strawberry and mint. There's all sorts of literally anything that you want to put as the fruit to change the flavour and the kids might drink it that little bit more. But literally only offer them water. Um, but then if you're drinking, you know, um, cool drink or, you know, wine or whatever, the kids aren't going to want to drink water. So making sure that you're doing it. <laughs> well, when you got older kids, it's a little bit different. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the best way to be doing it. So the more you drink water, the more they're going to want to drink water. Next one. A balanced diet. So um, encouraging your kids to eat the rainbow. A balanced diet includes all the food groups, vegetables, frozen, fresh, baked, grilled, air fried, lean protein, chicken, uh, chicken, turkey, uh, low sodium meals, deli meats, eggs, beans and nuts, your low dairy, uh, low fat dairy is milk, low fat cheese, cottage cheese, uh, low sugar, sugar Greek yogurt, whole grain, so your rice, your pasta, your sandwich, bread, wraps, quinoa and tortillas. Um, so yeah, getting those involved with having all of those fruits, uh, colours in their diet. It should be that one should be twice because I've got the <laughs> okay. Oh no. No, mine's not moving on. Uh, oh no. Uh, okay. Yeah, it should be the next one. Okay, utilize different cooking methods and recipes. Um, you will have to try a new recipe 10 times before your taste buds can decide whether they really like the food or not. That means you'll have to try a new food 10 times before you can say you like it or you don't like it. It has to be 10 different times, not 10 bites at the same meal. Remember that if you have, if you have a picky eater or eaters in the family, just because they don't did not like steamed broccoli doesn't mean they won't like it prepared a different way. Try roasting, saute, air frying, grilled. Most kids seem to prefer a more crunchy texture with cooking cooked vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower and carrots. Um, some of our favourite uh, cooking t tools when utilising different cooking methods includes crock pot or slow cooker, tin muffins, air fryer, baking paper, uh, baking, baking it um, or using the pots and pans and roasting it and all that kind of stuff. 
So remember, there you go, Claire. The kids have to try it 10 times. <laughs> Tell them that they can sit in the corner till they try it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you starve, you get nothing else. Uh, next one. Okay. Crock pot or slow cooker? Because you said it, it and forget it, it it's a great utilizer when meal prep, prepping a protein staple. Um, a lot of families love pulled, pulled chicken, um, also pulled pork, uh, chili, chilies, um, con carne. Um, you can do all sorts of different stuff with your crock pot. I generally, personally, don't use one. Um, I find them a oh, little bit difficult. Good, huh? Yeah. I used to yes to lamb shanks. Whew, so good. Yeah. Uh, you've got time. Um, you put it in the bond, it's so easy. The, Two more, 20 minutes I, first. Easy. I spent more, I've yeah. I've used my air cooker more than I use. I got them both at the same time and I spent more money on my crock pot than I did on my air fryer. That's right. I don't eat red meat. You might bring some of these shanks in next week. That's really <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because um, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes. You just chuck that in there, bro. Did you, did you chuck them in with like veggies and that? Yeah, I chopped an onion, two carrots, um, uh, the green uh, celery. It's kind of celery, but spring onion, spring onion oh, something like that. Yeah. Um, and a bottle of red wine, just for taste. Like not like drinking as much, but uh, two a shanks. Bottle? Yeah, a whole bottle. Oh. It's only seven to mil. Yeah, we'll see that. Yeah, anyway, yeah exactly. So, um, yeah. And oh, that time. Parsley. I'll show you the recipe if you want. Oh, yeah, delicious. Yeah, really good. Sounds, sounds, uh, Couple of stock. And that's it. I do love that's them, but my body doesn't love them. So it's easier just to yeah. stay away from it all. And poor Graham misses out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Three, seven hours. Yeah, like you said, air fry, use the mash. Mash pizza. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think so. I can't remember. Um, I, 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 I normally use my it. thermo mix. Especially for the kids. So good. Oh, really? You got to do seven minutes. Really? Seven so minutes on that? like a that size piece. I've worked out it's seven oh, minutes. Well, I had, I had one of the arms, uh, not the thighs, the other one. What are they? The breast? Breast, because I never eat breast. I always have thighs. And I cut them in half down here. Yeah. Yeah. And then I put yeah. two in. And Did you put any oil on it or anything? I don't no, put oil in so mine. That's why you didn't. No. Nah. No. Really? Mine doesn't dry out and I don't put oil. I cook potato. it for seven seven minutes. But sweet potato chips, you've got to put oil or else they get really dry. Yeah, sometimes. Maybe chuck a bit of oil on it, I reckon. I would that would be nice. Oh, sorry. I've done that one. You need to do that one. Uh -huh. Air fryer. Air fryer, Air fryer yeah. is a serious yeah. <laughs> game changer for your family. It is our go to preparing vegetables. Uh, this is so. A lot of the times with the air fryer, we do things like I do uh, pumpkin chips for myself um, because pumpkin's very low on carbs, um, so you can eat a lot more. Graham generally has sweet potato chips. Um, also, I've done your low carb potatoes in there. I cook my chicken, pretty much anything. I cook sausages in there because for me, I hate barbecue. I don't like it. And yeah. Were oh wow! Yeah. Um, so quick to that. If, yeah. Oh really? You can also get a peeler. Yeah. Um, a peeler and peel your vegetables, and it will actually turn into veggie chips. Oh, and it'll be crunchy. Um, apparent. No, peel it. Use a peeler and then chuck it in. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, apparently, you can do uh, fruits in there as well for some healthy snacks. I've never done it. I know that someone. Pardon? Yeah. Doing bananas. I think, what was it? I think, who shared the. Jackie shared, and apparently it takes like three hours on the lower yeah, setting or something. Really yeah, yeah. Oh, for um, dried fruit. Oh, so yeah. 120. Or 120, yeah, and you have it on there to dry out all the sh all the moisture in it. So I couldn't think of anything worse. I would just generally just chuck it in the oven and put it at like 60 or 70. And just, yeah, or that. <laughs> but, 
Yeah, um, really Someone told me that they put um sweet corn in this slow cooker and it turned into popcorn. And I don't know if they put my leg or what. <laughs> they were good. Oh, that is the biggest <laughs> crap ever. You have to dry the corn before you? you can actually okay, have it. Oh. I swear to God, someone told me that. Uh, next one is <laughs> muffin yeah. tins. Muffin tins are really great for um preparing it's also it means that you don't need to worry about your portion size or um worrying about your portion size so things that you could do is making egg muffins blueberry muffins protein muffins meatloaf muffins all sorts of different things in there and at least all you have to do is take it out and serve it with some salad on the side and dinner's done yes, Baking and roasting. Bake, baking and roasting method is favourite for the vegetables like broccoli and sweet potato. A panko crusted chicken is a kid's and adult's favourite. It tastes like the restaurant's chicken tenders but healthier. The best part about the oven is that you can cook your entire meal at once. This one. I think that's the end, isn't it? Just about, yeah. And that's the end of it all. So yeah, it's more just trying to get your kids involved. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, it's so good. Twenty? No, it doesn't. Oh, oh. No, no, prepare, preparing. Oh no, it takes. She's hours. like, it only takes twenty minutes. I'm like, do I take longer to cook? Um, oh, lamb chops. Thanks, it's been like almost as well. Or beef cheeks. Exactly. And then everyone starts. Well, all the restaurants started using them, and they just make the most expensive. Ever to even just go and buy two shanks that it's like $14 for two. Yeah, well, we like never had one. Or beef cheeks is the other thing. Yeah. There's so many people I know that. Who? Who does? That's next door to uh, cash, uh, the, the chicken, chicken treat. Yeah, treat. I've never been there. We used to do um, the lamb roast, and then after you got everything out, you chuck it in a, this this soup, a pot of soup, and then you get, get even more of meat up. Yeah, and like you said, it's kind of like the yeah. blue man's. So when I make veggie soup, I yeah. do shanks. Yeah, shanks. Yeah, we've never yeah. had a massive pot on the um, on the pot belly come home from school. Yeah, yeah. Have yeah. a bit of water to yeah. it every second day or whatever. <laughs> I think is yeah, Susan the only one that's yeah, on here? So, yeah. Is there any questions, Susan? Good work. <laughs> all right, I'm going to stop the video. Um, but yeah, all good. And I'll see you next week on oh, Monday. I guess another one. Do I'm you guys gonna... do Shepherd's Pie or anything like that? Um, we do the thermomix and throw heaps of veggies and just blend it, and you don't even know that it's not veggies. Oh, I, I it's make a puree. In the yeah. blender? Or chop it up with your knife? Just I pie. use a, I just make a puree. I'm yeah, making shepherd's pie right. tonight. Uh, for for the, just the mince pie. Yeah. Yep. And then you chuck it part of the mince and cook it. You don't even know the difference. Yeah. Have you done that with the kids? Yeah. We've done shepherd's pie before. Yeah. Versions of it. Um, but yeah. Or even, um,